गुड मॉर्निंग सर या गुड मॉर्निंग सो या व्हाट इज योर नेम सर आई एम शिवकृष्ण सर या शिवकृष्ण कैन आई हैव योर रिज्यूमे सर या शिवकृष्ण सो बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द इंटरव्यू सो क्विकली इंट्रोड्यूस योरसेल्फ थैंक यू सर फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई वुड लाइक टू थैंक यू फॉर गिविंग दिस ऑपर्चुनिटी टू इंट्रोड्यूस माय सेल्फ सर आई एम शिवकृष्ण बायसिटी फ्रॉम वेस्ट गोदावर सर आंध्र प्रदेश आई हैव करंटली आई एम स्टेइंग इन हैदराबाद सर आई हैव कम फ्रॉम अ न्यूट्रल फैमिली कंसिस्टिंग ऑफ फोर मेंबर्स सर ओके सो एंड कमिंग टू माय टेक्निकल्स आई हैव आई हैव गुड नॉलेज ऑन बेसिक्स ऑफ पाइथन एंड जावा एचटीएमएल सीएसएस एंड मैनुअल टेस्टिंग सर सो करंटली आई वाज लर्निंग फॉर ऑटोमेशन एंड आल्सो माय हॉबी सर सो आई एम अ स्टोरी राइटर सर एंड आई राइट स्टोरीज um uh, and the songs and poetry and and uh, i have a uh, bit a uh, bit uh, interest on reading uh, books regarding indian mythology mythology sir i was uh, i believe in god and all so i i read uh, uh, books regarding indian uh, mythology and gods and all and um, my, and one more thing i would like to tell about me briefly about means i was a person who believe in uh, learning is a continuous process sir so i love learning uh, uh, learning new things and all exploring new things and all so with that inputs and uh, previous experience i i would like to rebuild my uh, lifestyle and also uh, skill sets skill sets sir. so this was a brief introduction about me that's a good introduction so yeah you are good at uh, like java and uh, testing and as well as python python also yeah okay so that's a good technology as well so uh yeah basically i'm going with the basics of manual and as well as basics of java okay yeah okay so fine let me go with the manual okay so out of five how much you can rate yourself sir uh, i can Basic on technical on technical side and concept side, I can rate myself as four, sir. So because I was a fresher, I can't uh, uh, rate myself for the uh, works uh, for the working environment. I can't rate myself, sir, because I was a fresher and all. In concept wise, all and uh, in, uh, learning wise, all, I can rate myself as four to four point five, sir, out of five. Yeah, that's fine information. Yeah, okay. So four is a good rating as well as a fresh. So can I go with the scenario based questions? Yes, sir. I was comfortable there. Yeah, okay, fine. Hmm. Yeah, uh, tell me. So, which type of testing you will perform? Like first functional or non-functional? Sir, uh, first we will function uh, perform the f- functional testing, sir. Yeah, okay. Whether the uh, ready build is uh, working as per our requirements and all not, so uh, we will go with functional t- test, sir. Okay. So and followed by non-functional test. Okay. Let Let I am go with the scenario based question and that thing. So I have a scenario like uh, upload photo. Okay. Upload photo is the scenario. so we need to check uh, actually client requirement is upload photo it should be acceptable uh, less than or equal to 2.6 mb file okay and the file extension should be be in a .jpg format okay and then the resolution we are should be given a 177 into 360p okay so if i can give this valid inputs photo should be acceptable invalid should, photo should be invalid credentials photo should not upload okay. so how many test cases you can generate um so for this uh, based on uh, test, test uh, we can generate nearly of seven test cases for a, for a basic sir basic okay amount. can you tell what are the um before was a boundary boundary value testing sir uh, we can make this uh, test scenarios using the boundary wall techniques are in uh, test scenarios and all okay. so boundary wall testing means uh, because there were uh, some regulations and all because it should be it should not be uh, more than 2.7 mb and, and all mm. so checking uh, checking the positive both positive and uh, negative with inputs sir we are checking uh, but uploading the uh, uploading the photo which is less than 2.7 mb and all and uh, Also checking with the uh, more than 2.7 mb photo, sir. If no. it was both uh, both side test cases were uh, if if we upload the photo, uh, it is less than 2.7 mb. Uh, it should be successfully uploaded, sir. If we, if the uh, photo is not um, is more than 2.7 mb, the error sh- uh, generator has gen- error should be generated and uh, the photo shouldn't be uploaded, sir. Yes. And coming uh, to the like uh, whatever you are going, that's good. so simply you can say uh, don't be a complexity okay so just you can say uh, i can go with the case number 1 giving the within within the boundaries within the boundaries. giving the within the boundaries and it should be acceptable case number 1 if it was accept my test case is passed Pass. and second you need to say uh, giving size is invalid remaining both are valid another case size is uh, valid and remaining a invalid. invalid like that you can change and without uploading the photo directly you can click on the button yes, that's so this I way are. also mm. why we are basically going for the regression testing is it mandatory 
Yes, sir. Definitely, the regression testing has been is is mandatory, sir, because because uh, in de- in in the process of developing developing an application, yeah. the uh, entire requirements were been divided into uh, particular small small sprints or modules, sir. Yeah, so. Okay. Uh, for for making that application complete requirements has to be satisfied all these ma- modules has to be come come joined sir so okay. uh, testing when, when we are joining a, a set of modules okay. the testing the testing the impacted impacted modules also is very important sir because when a uh, when any error is when a bug is found on a in particular module and it was fixed um based, uh, fixed by a modification like a uh, deletion or addition of something uh, some other functional functions and all so if there is an impact happened because of the changes happened in that module for the set of modules in a block is is to be uh, found sir so for that if the uh, if the only the fixation of the bug is uh, done and uh, not 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 the not checking the impact modules means definitely there will be a, uh, a failure or a, a, a complete uh, destruction has to be uh, can be found sir on the application so it was uh, mandatory we can say it was mandatory to perform regression testing sir on an application yeah fine so yes uh, like uh, is regression testing is possible in manual yes sir possible sir. Uh, so like is there any drawback in manual regression yes sir because uh, Uh, when the mo- when the modules are uh, are higher number when the modules are uh, larger in number uh, it will it will be somewhat difficult to find uh, some uh, some uh, misfunctionality sir okay so uh, we can't say that uh, we can we can give 100% accuracy with the uh, ma- uh, for the, for the regression test on manual but we can uh, get some satisfied results only sir but we can't get 100% of the uh, test uh, bugs uh, what we call bug feeling so what we can uh, approach no uh, for completion or uh, for uh, uh, for 100% accuracy on the Uh, like uh, I am asking, means manual is having drawback. Yes, sir. So can we go for another? Yes, sir. We can perform automation testing with that. Sir. Yeah. Okay. Fine. So because of the drawback, we can go with the yes, automation. Sir. Okay. So fine. And yeah. So if the company required the automation, yes, sir. Okay. So I already like you are purchasing purchasing your process, right? So already you are having some awareness about the tools and what yes, are the yes. market available tools. Yes, okay. So uh, we don't know anything, company holder. You are the person. You need to start the automation. Yes. So in your way, which tool you can select and which programming language you can select? Sir, um, uh, I can suggest like uh, it's a Selenium. Selenium tool I can suggest, sir. Yeah, okay. If the programming language is Java, sir, it was a wide usage uh, tool and uh, programming language in the market, and sir. Yeah, okay. And also it was a uh, both user friendly and also with free of cost, sir, available on the market. Yes. And it it can support many other browsers and all. So it has many many advantages when compared with the other tools which is in market and market when compared with both uh, uh, licensed tools and also free tools also. It was a one of the best tools, sir. Selenium with Java. Yeah okay so fine so you can choose the selenium and you say that there is some advantage yes sir yes. okay so okay like uh, i have a uh, like you told that selenium is a web application yes, testing yes. so we have a mobile applications yes, is it okay for with selenium no sir selenium is all supports only web applications sir yeah fine yeah okay so uh like uh, are you started automation or are you still you are in learning still was learning sir uh, learning and okay. practice continuously what i learn every day and all sir yeah okay yes. so can i go with a basic question yes, sir uh, yes, sir yeah okay fine like uh, i have a one url yes, sir okay something google yes, sir, yes, sir. i need to launch yes, sir. uh is how you can launch that url Uh, sir, um, because I mean Selenium uh, for uh, starting of automation, there were uh, 13 particular set of uh, fun- pre- predefined functions are there, sir. So with, uh, with that, uh, to launch any URL, uh, U- URL or any to start uh, to get start with any uh, website and all. So there are uh, two uh, two functions, sir. One is get function and another one is navigate function, sir. So we can dri- uh, after setting off a object for the web driver. So uh, driver dot get off the URL URL. can we say sir and also we can use uh, driver dot get off uh, driver dot navigate also we can use sir and navigation means uh, when go with the navigation we have uh, four more advantages sir navigate to they were 
uh, four more uh, key elements are present in the navigate sir so they are first ones navigate to navigate forward navigate backward and nav and refresh the page sir yeah fine yes. so you told that uh, have a skills like java and python yes, sir, yes, sir. okay so like uh, yeah, like uh, depends on our company we are going with the java and as well as python okay so um, i'm not going with the deep questions so just say what is the futures of java and then what is the futures of python okay so uh, coming to java uh, java is a uh, platform independent sir and uh, it was a uh, free source sense and it is multi threaded and um, uh, and also we can say uh, it was a open source on long way sir it can support may, uh, it can support uh, many may, like you uh, can say simple and portable ah, simple okay uh, so okay you can say python teacher python it was a dynamic it was dynamic sir it was a powerful language and also supports the and it, it supports the oops concept and all and also sir mm. yes sir and these were some of the features same thing you can say in java yes sir. okay so yeah fine so like uh, in automation actually we required uh, some html basics you have any idea about that yes sir okay so tell me some uh, three or four tag names mm. tag names like uh, uh, for for creating any paragraph and all we'll start with the uh, p function p uh, p tag sir p open the p tag uh, write what out the paragraph okay, you want tag name is enough uh, p tag for paragraph sir and uh, for uploading any images uh, uh, image image dot source of uh, url of the uh, image okay. and uh, cre for cre for creation of table ta table tag line sir and uh, for creation of a title title tag line and also uh, yeah, for the fine. font size sir. so mostly uh, some more time you need to say better approach you can say input the bill so this has like impact of bill tag so okay fine a like for creating a table this yeah uh, okay so yeah uh, that's fine as a, a tester so what is your main role in a un, in one organization to deliver the quality application for the end, end user or the customer sir yeah, okay and again only to deliver need to uh, to find the quality uh, quality application and also to find the defects uh, defects yes. de uh, defects on that's the, the main thing you need to see. defects uh, to find defects uh, on the application developed by the developers sir yeah fine okay so like uh, you are saying uh, i have a good story writer as well yes, okay so what is the story recently written sir actually uh, i have more passionate about films sir yeah okay uh, i wanted to i have some fantasy of becoming a director and so from, during from uh, during my intermediate and all so i i found that i can write good stories and all based because because of film knowledge and all sir okay okay fine and yes, just i am asking mm -hmm. what is the story title and what is the conclusion of the story mm -hmm. Uh, on recent times i was writing a story uh, with the title of eight sir okay. a numerical eight sir so it was the uh, it was some something like uh, based on the defense system of india sir there is uh, there is a some big disaster is going to happen from one of the leading uh, terrorist groups on india sir so for that uh, a group has to be uh, uh, trained and they sh they should stop that disaster in india sir that was the main conclusion on that sir. yeah fine yeah okay so why am why we are asking the uh, your hobby support means like uh, so we need to like uh, there is the how we can say so as per company norm so you said you are uh, like sd you said that uh, i have a that skill that skill that skill so we need to touch each and every point here so basically you are going to be an a like uh, automation and as well as man okay yeah uh, fine shiva so i like i done with my side you have any queries to ask yes sir um, what could be my job role sir if you were selected for this uh, job description and all like uh, yes that was a valid question like uh, you need like uh, as you are studying in your courses stlc life yes, cycle yes, and sdlc yes. so like that we are following that sdlc with a j process so your uh, roles and responsibilities should be like uh, role is as a like a uh, quality uh, qa team you are a person of qa team yes. and your responsibilities is you need to attend the meetings okay. like and you need to get some uh, calls uh, for meeting calls like and you need to like a uh, responsible person to give the answer to your senior person yes. and you need to understand the requirement and you need to execute the existing test cases yes. and you need to find the defect and you need to submit to the dev and uh, until the life cycle you need to follow up to fixing okay yeah uh, that is about your responsibility yes. yeah fine thank you sir yeah you may leave